What up Taurus Legacies, welcome back to my channel for those that are returning. For those that are new, stick around. You're about to witness a general love, hidden truth reading. This is mostly going to be a love reading. So if that's what you are searching for, the answers are coming. If this message resonates, leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, and because do that, it really helps the algorithm of this channel. So you continue to get readings like this. Thank you. New chapter tarot is the deck I will be using. It is one that was gifted to me for my birthday, Taurus. I love a new fresh deck. All right, new chapter tarot. Let's pull your general spread. Let's get into your reading, Taurus. Have the first card that I saw, which I was trying to avoid, but it still came out, was the tower. Okay, the five of discs, the ace of cups, the two of wands, and the four of wands. There's this huge breakthrough that is about to happen that's going to make you rich. Five of discs, okay? It's gonna be enough money till the day you die, till the day that you're put in the grave, okay? This is gonna be a huge blessing in your life and it's going to fulfill you not only financially, but emotionally and spiritually, okay? With the Ace of Cups. Below that, we have the Two of Wands and the Four of Wands. So the Divine is really carefully creating this path of portals where you're quantum jumping to really get to this point where you're able to see everything as what it truly is. You're able to see opportunities as they come and you're defending yourself with your third eye, okay? You're starting to see things for what they really are. And this is also coming from your heart. There's this like hibiscus flower at the bottom, okay? For some of you, you may be ordering at that drink at Starbucks, that red, fruity, pink drink consistently. Okay, this may be a favorite for you. And it's actually detoxing your body to be able to see clearly, to be transparent in your own personal life. There is this huge breakthrough though that's gonna happen for you, Taurus. Let me pull one more card, okay? Ooh, at the bottom of the deck, I was, I was told, look at the bottom. Your challenge is the lovers, okay? Let's see, one more card. The Ten of Discs, okay? Ooh. Happy, happy life, happy family, happy kids, happy everything, happy home. What's up? What's going on, Taurus? What is about to happen for you? Let's take a look at your hidden truth love life. Let's take a look at how you feel. Okay, at the center of your reading, as I briefed you from the beginning, if you're searching for answers in love, here it is. This is your challenge. You let me down. So this is for you, okay? Love team, tell me what else for Taurus. I wish we could go back and I want to make amends, okay? So there's clearly some amends that need to be done on your part. You wish you could go back, right? And this is what I mean about the quantum jumping. It's like, you're almost like you're trying to reverse time to go back, okay? Because I'm strongly feeling that you may have done something, you may have reacted in a, in, a, in a way that was unhealthy based off an action that they did, which let you down, 
However, you could have gone better about responding, okay, not reacting to the situation to maybe, you know, create a solution to the problem. Because I don't see the problem being something devastating like them cheating or being unfaithful, untrue to the person that they said they were going to be in the relationship. But they may have done something that may have just struck you the wrong way. They struck the wrong chord in a sense. Let's take a look at how they feel. Love team, tell me how they feel. I still have feelings for you. I want you back. I still have feelings for you and I trusted you. Ooh. It's almost I'm okay, this is a, this is a scenario I'm hearing. I'm hearing that you may have believed. Okay, there may have been reason to believe that they were being unfaithful, that they were speaking to somebody else that they were doing something shady, let's put it. As a result, you kind of responded on impulse, you reacted, and you may have done a decision that was, that results in, in a consequence to the relationship, right? As if, you may have hooked up with someone else. You may have kissed someone else. You may have gone on a date with someone else to get back at this person. But in all reality, they never did anything wrong. In fact, they may have been doing something for you with that person. They still want you back. They have feelings for you. They trusted you. However, you're the one, Taurus. This is why this is your challenge is because you have some amends to make to some actions you may have done that were based off inaccurate uh, evidence, right? It's like, check the facts, look at the evidence. What was your part in this situation? What was their part, right? You take ownership for your actions, they take ownership for their actions. Could, could have they gone about this situation differently? Possibly, right? Everyone makes mistakes. We are only human, right? So there is this sense of reconciliation happening. There is this conversation that's going to be held, especially because there is this breakthrough in your life, not only in love, but in your finances, which is really going to want you to celebrate with someone and that someone is not currently around and that is a feeling that you're going to feel here here shortly in the near future so it's like you want to make things right so that you can celebrate the hard work that both of you have been putting in to this relationship to this life that you created together um let's take a look at this episode. so okay so Oh, I didn't look at how you guys both really feel. Okay, it's okay though. So it says, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations and attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay. Like I said, there is this breakthrough, this huge manifestation that you created, that you asked for to the divine, and they're providing that for you. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship, okay? And this could have been them. I'm strongly feeling like this was them. This is them doing something that may have appeared shady. Maybe it was shady, but their intentions were not to harm you. Okay, let's, let's look at in between how you guys both feel. Your intellect arouses me. I can't be with you. I can't reach out. You broke my heart. Damn. Whoa. Okay, so you guys both feel this way. Whew. Well, I just got this big pit in my stomach. 
there is this sense of not wanting to reach out on both of you because no one wants to take ownership on their actions or where maybe they had had gone wrong, right? You guys both feel brokenhearted and this is exactly why this is your challenge with the lovers. Because there is love, there is attraction present within the relationship. You guys are still attracted to each other physically, mentally, spiritually, all the way. Let's take a look at the angels and romances. What's the advice here for Taurus? Flirt and very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Extend your lighthearted energy to others, okay? So yes, flirt very soon. Maybe you need to go back in time to, like you were thinking, to that person that they fell in love with, right? Become that lighthearted person that wasn't all wrapped up around their finger, keeping the dibs on them, looking at their social media, stalking them, you know, the whole sense, right? Because there is this nostalgia that comes with this relationship <coughs> that allows you to be this lighthearted, flirtatious person. And this is what's been taken away by doing the action you made. I wanna know what that action was. Let's, let's look at the new chapter. What did you do towards? The Knight of Discs. Okay, so there was this, and this is maybe why you're having this breakthrough, because you walked away from the relationship. You were so clearly invested to invest more so in your career. You were defending that, that pinnacle so you could ultimately have this celebration with your significant other. But what it actually did is instead of including him in the efforts of getting to this point, you excluded them and you made them feel less than, and they may have been doing something to surprise you with a date, a birthday party, whatever the case may be, with someone that you thought was someone else, okay? You may have thought that this person that they were with was someone that was involved with your significant other romantically, okay? It's almost like you felt, how could you have done this to me? After all the work I've been putting in that work so we could celebrate, so we could level up in life, boss up, right? And yet now I see you with this other person. They may have been they may have been planning this surprise party for you. And you reacted, you responded, you may have had a few drinks and done something that you regretted that ultimately just shut down the relationship. All right, let's pull another card. Oh, got a whole reading. <laughs> so we have the teacher in reverse, the three of swords in reverse, and the ace of swords. There is definitely some truth that needs to be done with the teacher and the three of swords. There is this calling by the divine to remain teachable. Be open-minded to what they have to say. Okay, let them finish their sentences. And when it's time for you to share the way you feel, do that with the Ace of Swords. Be fully transparent. Let that guard down. Express how you feel, where you see things heading. Because both of you are feeling very much so brokenhearted from not being together. Because it, being together was what both of you knew to do very well. And it's almost, I'm hearing that not only are you guys shocked by this uh, time away, but others as well. Because it's almost like you guys work our relationship goals. And I think if you're able to work through this and fight through this, you guys will become stronger in the end and will continue to be that life for others that they're very much so attracted and inspired by in your relationship. In the middle of the deck, I just saw, I feel so happy with you. Okay, they are your happiness, Taurus. 
fight for what is yours, defend your case, present yourself in a way that is truthful to who you are that's still attractive. If this message resonated towards, leave a comment down below, like, subscribe. When you guys do that, it really helps the algorithm of this channel. So you can continue to get readings like this. And most importantly, Taurus, do not forget to live out your best local show.